Lucy here, and today I'm going to show you another digital art coloring and shading video. I will show you how you can rapidly improve your digital drawings by showing you how you shouldn't shade and how you should play around with coloring and shading. I drew this lovely lady to assist me for showing you this tutorial. So I'm going to show you two techniques and I duplicated this line art so I can color them both. I picked out three base colors which will be the base colors for both the drawings. So you can see how much of a difference a coloring technique can mean to your drawings. So I started out with coloring her skin and her shirt and I'm only using the brush tool and here and there the airbrush for the coloring. And I'm using my Wacom Cintiq for the coloring. And that's why you see those messengers pop up in the left corner. Please ignore them. <laughs> As for the hair, I use the select tool to select everything but the hair. Because I will invert the selection layer for a clean selection. After that, I color her with the brown color and start with the shading of the skin. As you can see, I picked a darker skin tone with more black and I used the brush tool to shade around. Notice that I go down the color wheel for the shading color of the skin instead of going to the right. After that, I move on to her shirt and pick a darker yellow color for the shading. And it's more of a greenish color actually and you will see when we compare the two that it doesn't really look nice. As for the lighter parts of the shirts, I pick white for the highlights and you will see that it doesn't really match as well as it should be. But we'll see that in the right side. And the same for the hair, I go down the color wheel and pick a dark brown color for the shading of her hair. And for the highlights of the overall drawing, I use white because most beginner artists pick white as a highlight color. And this is just a technique most beginner artists use to color and shade their art. And I'm not saying that it's wrong, but you can give your drawing so much more depth and make your drawing more interesting by using different colors. Um, it's just a shame because it's such a simple trick to improve your shading technique. Which I'm going to show you at the right side. I start out with coloring her skin with the same base color and for the shading, as you notice, I go right on the color wheel and pick a reddish color. And this is really important because you need to determine if you will make a warm toned drawing or a cool toned drawing because you need to match up the shading colors with that. I will make this drawing a warm toned drawing. So for the shading of her skin I pick a darker warm red color. As for the highlights for her skin I use a very very light yellowish color and add some highlight here and there. And next up is her yellow shirt. I pick the same base color as I did for the left side and start coloring in her shirt. And I'm just taking my time to color the shirt with the brush tool. As for the shading for the shirt, I'm not picking a darker yellow color, but I'm moving around the color wheel and pick a more orange color. And notice that I also pick a third shading color to give more depth to the drawing. As for the highlights of the shirt, I'm using a very light yellow color and not white. Next up is her hair. And again, I'm using select tool to select everything but the hair and invert the selection layer so that I have a very nice clean selection of the hair only. And I pick the brown color as the base color for the hair. I pick a warm red color for the shading of her hair. I was kind of experimenting with this because I didn't like the feel of it at the beginning so I also added a little bit of purple and mixed those together. Just make your drawing more interesting. So I'm just playing around with the brush tool and really paint in those hair strings and shade different things. As for the highlights, 
I'm using a salmon yellowish color and not white and this really makes the highlights a little bit more softer and for the rest I'm just doing some touch-ups here and there especially with the shading and I ended up adding some highlights to the bottom part of the hair as well to really give that shine to the hair and overall I really really like the drawing and how it came out and I'm also adding some extra lights and touch-ups with the airbrush tool with a layer set on screen and just adding some more colors to it and I add a little bit of blue to the hair just to make the drawing a little bit more alive. And I'm also coloring the line art to make the line art look a little bit softer. And that's it for the right side, so let's compare the two of them. Which one do you find more appealing? Of course, everyone has a different taste and I'm not saying this is the way it should be, but for me the right side looks more professional than the left side. And um, that's all about coloring. And also take note that the left side was done in less time than the other one because I blended the colors better together. Using more colors is more blending. I personally feel like that the right side looks more alive and has an overall warm feeling. So you could place this drawing in an environment and it would fit. So as a summary of this whole video I'd like to give some tips and tricks for you to try out. And the first tip is to pay more attention to placing the highlights and not simply using the airbrush to um, give a simple highlight but try to really play, paint on the different highlights on the hair and on the shirt. Try to avoid black and white in your drawing and play around with a color wheel and pick warm or cool colors for your drawing and something which is very personal but you can color your line art to give the drawing a softer look but sometimes you prefer the hard black lines and that's okay I mean drawing is all about experimenting and doing what you love and I'm just giving these tips in the hope that you'll find them helpful and that you will go experiment around and if you don't like it that's okay I mean I'm just giving those tips and yeah I think that's it for this video and I really hope you liked it and that you learned something and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me or what kind of tutorials you'd like to see and I will try to make them. So that's it for this video and I'll see you next time everyone. Bye bye!